It's an iconic symbol of these United States, and believe it or not, Utah has the largest winter population of bald eagles in the lower 48. I went out to one of the best places to spot them, Farmington Bay, to find out what they love about the Beehive State before they fly back for the summer. Maybe they feel welcome here with one on a famous gate in downtown Salt Lake, or maybe it's because they see another one flying over the Utah State Capitol every day on our outgoing state flag. Or maybe it's the carp. We have a lot of carp, and those aren't good for our wetlands, and the eagles will actually eat those carp. Farmington Bay Waterfowl Management Area is a good place to spot them during the winter. Um, in the winter time, they'll often be sitting out here looking to scavenge something, and then they also just like to rest out here. It's kind of away from everything. Utah typically sees around 500 bald eagles in the cold season. They mostly keep to northern Utah's reservoirs in the Great Salt Lake wetlands, but a few ambitious eagles get down to the lakes of southern Utah. These original snowbirds come down from the Pacific Northwest and farther north because it's relatively balmy to them here. Oh, oh. Um, now you see. Now I see two more on the ice. The population of bald eagles is more spread out this year because it's a good water year for much of the state. We're seeing less here. And why is that? It's probably because they're spread out more. So they have our reservoirs in northern Utah. Um, they have carcasses of dead deer and elk up on our highways. And then they also have plenty of room here uh, on the wetlands because we actually have a lot of water this year. What can people do to make sure that we keep the population of eagles here and, and protect them while they're here? Good question. Um, I would say try not to disturb the eagles. Um, if you're going to use some type of poison to get rid of small mammals like mice, if you have a mouse problem, try not to poison them because eagles will eat those. So if you can do something else like trap or something that would be more helpful. And then just be careful when you're driving along the roads near our wetlands. Eagles began arriving in December, but their numbers peak this month. Right now actually is a great time. But you can come to our nature trail um, at the Eccles Wildlife Center and walk that. And then you can also kind of look out on the ponds that you can see on the ice and you'll have a good chance of seeing them. Their massive seven and a half foot wingspan makes them the star of the show right now amid a flurry of feathered activity. It's an extremely unique ecosystem one of a kind. It's an oasis in the desert for our migratory birds. We actually get up to 12 million birds a year coming through to fuel up on their migration and it's just really beautiful to see. So check them out now before they disappear at about the same time they disappear from our state flag. By the way, the builder who approved the new state flag without the noble eagle is expected to pass through the House of Reps this week and then waits for the governor's approval after that. The bald eagles though, they'll still come back. Despite Next not year. having the, the eagle on the flag. That's you said that might have been probably, like a welcoming. I mean, it was hard to interview the eagles. Couldn't get very close, but I think they'll still come back. You looked good behind a pair of binoculars. <laughs> no, you look like you know what you're doing, Dan. It was pretty cool to see him out there. But chilly days. Oh, so cold. Ooh, bitter.